my God. Sabretooth, ready to die. Wait, 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 wait. Time! Warning, spoilers for Deadpool and Wolverine. As one of the most awaited Marvel movies since Endgame, we're certainly not done talking about Deadpool and Wolverine yet. Welcome to Screen Rant. Today we're going Easter egg hunting. Ryan Reynolds has done what he does best with his Deadpool movies, mixing fun, wit, and badassery with fan service. This movie is stuffed so full of Easter eggs it's like we've stumbled across the Easter Bunny's warehouse. Let's take a look at just a few. Pegging isn't new for me, friendo, but it is for Disney. Not only a nod to the Marvel Studios president himself, but Feige's Pizza Shop is obviously a Deadpool favorite, originally featured in the opening scenes of the first Deadpool movie, only to make a return this time at the end of Deadpool and Wolverine, a tasty bookend to a fantastic trilogy if there ever was one. Fans of the Loki series will instantly recognize the void when our heroes are sent to it. However, it has become the Fox Studios equivalent of a Las Vegas neon museum. Every shot has a nod to the old movies, including a crumbling Fox Studio logo. If you don't blink, you'll see many heroes' vehicles rotting away too, including the Benatar from Guardians of the Galaxy 2, Red Skull's car from Captain America First Avenger, and even the ice cream truck from Moon Knight can be seen. Knowing their audiences, the filmmakers decided to give us the opportunity to see versions of Wolverine that have existed in the comics, including a height-accurate 5'3 Short King himself, though his low height seems more exaggerated in the scene than it might feel in reality. All variants are, of course, played by Jackman, with the exception of one, the Cavalrine. Yes, that's right, Henry Cavill makes an appearance as one Logan variant, which is a nod to the fan-cast version of Wolverine. That's right, if you've seen the trailer, you've seen that Wolverine finally gets to don his yellow suit. Ever since the first X-Men movie, the yellow suit has eluded Logan, with his costume being either standard civilian gear or some sleek black leather suit. As Deadpool says in the movie, it only took 20 years for this outfit to finally make an appearance. But that's not all. In the final showdown in beautiful slow motion, Logan reaches behind his head and pulls up Wolverine's mask. Finally, the ensemble was complete, and it was truly worth the wait. It really is the end of an era. Now that Disney has fully taken over the mantle of Marvel, Deadpool and Wolverine has provided not only a fantastic movie, but also a heartfelt recap of the last 24 years. It is an emotional moment for us veteran moviegoers who have been there since day one, and gives us all a moment of realization about how far all the stories and actors such as Jackman have come. Thanks for watching Screen Rant. Stay tuned for more MCU news.